what is up? Got a big micro channel coil. Yeah, something a lot of people hate. I don't see what the big deal is. For some reason, when these things are put in automobiles, they generally outlast the car before they leak. But for some reason, they seem a little prone to leaking in the HVAC. This one was in a chiller. It's kind of in a smaller chiller that has a, like a big one and three eighths line or so coming up and split into two seven eighths gas lines. And it drops in here and in here and then one five eighths liquid line leaving. And for some reason, they've had this one break. Okay, there is a leak. Right here at the top, it's cracked. I'm gonna attempt, hopefully without screwing this up, to raise from here over to here. Actually, I'm gonna attempt to weld the TIG, some aluminum. Not very good at it. I'm gonna see what happens. And this, can't get this too hot because this is that um, copper to aluminum. So I want to do it in little steps there and cool this off. Ugly, but effective. Basically, I took this. I started to do it here and decided this one wasn't leaking. Let's not mess with it. But it was open like that. So I pretty much encapsulated that whole pocket all the way around. So, plus, it's a lot stronger there. So. Seems like if you have a, on this model of chiller, these pipes just go over a few feet and drop right to the tandem compressors and if you have low load or something wrong where it's filling up with liquid and the compressor starts and chugs and slugs and jackhammers well it just jackhammers this connection right here is the weak spot just cracks it so, yeah they had two coils <laughs> crack in a row within a month actually a uh, third one if you count the original coil that leaked so it looks like they have something else to look for to fix but so far it seems to be holding my uh, low pressure test, so I'm gonna put some more nitrogen in there and take this off and I'll check it the next day. This one here, because I learned on the other one what to do and not do, I kind of did a little bit of bead and then I would stop and then I'd cool this off and then do a little more and stop. And you can see what I did was I kind of just worked at just filling this whole area in a little bit by little bit. So I kind of went all around. That's probably strong as hell now. And then probably leak here next. <laughs> but pretty good. I've had this on a leak test for several days and it hasn't dropped. So he's gonna come get it. And just, uh, we wanna get the chiller running without getting a third coil just because I think there's something else wrong and I don't want them to risk you know, doing a third coil, maybe getting the warranty rejected. So it's gonna be some stuff to tackle in there. And if they wanna consider it's temporary, they could always replace the coil again later if they want. But Anyway, that was fun, but I learned a lot. I definitely know now that you can fix these right here. Of course, I did not try to take the TIG to anything out here. Maybe someday I'll get a coil that leaks, you know, one of these joints or out in the middle. Um, I think at worst case, you could always fix a coil if you had to, if one wasn't available by at least just, you could always take one circuit, one pass, and just cap it at both ends. Just rip it out, maybe even rip it, go out a couple inches if it's in the middle. And just pinch it and just fill it up to do the same thing on the other side. I actually did that to a, well, a tube type, but it was a little small tube on a residential style one. It was on a commercial, and it and it worked until they got another coil. So you could always get one of these coils working again if you have to. If you just if you can't get a coil, you can you can always get it working again. So so this one's gonna be working again. That's gonna be awesome. This needs to be cut and uh, swaged. But other than that, should be uh, ready to go. Kind of get the other side here of it too, just to kind of see. Turn some light on. So I kind of went all the way around it. A couple different, you know, different how shiny it is. It's because I would do some of it, and then I'd wire brush it again, and then I would just continue. But that was to preserve this joint here. And it, I mean, it looks like aluminum right there, but I don't know what, what they're using. They use something different. I know some things are epoxy and some things are just a different kind of a brazing material, if you want to call it that. But anyway, the cheap Harbor Freight TIG welder I have, little foot pedal operated one, just has one control dial just to adjust the, like the output and then the foot pedal could vary it, but it doesn't have like programmable modes to like pulse, like on off, on off you know, or anything like that. You can do it with your foot. 
which I've learned to do a little bit. Kind of back it off once it, you know, to kind of control the, so it doesn't burn holes and whatnot. So didn't burn any holes on that one. Kind of went around it and it worked out real nice. So, anyway, first time doing that welding micro channel with the TIG welder. Need to, it's a mess back here, but that is it. Well, and one reason I kind of threw a big hole in the other coil I used for a guinea pig was that my argon ran out and I didn't notice it. I thought I saw the, it get weird with the torch, as you call it, you know, come out of the head and it uh, was just, it was like blasting and it messed, it like reacted really weird with the copper too, it screwed it up. So I had to refill the argon, there's a spare one, there's nitro. But yeah, just a, just a Harbor Freight one. That was under a thousand bucks for that. So it's pretty cool. But yep, yeah, well, maybe I'll get a little better at welding some aluminum here or there. I think that turned out kind of okay for what it is. Not too bad. So you can get a little better focus there. And it was a crack, actually, actually down here, but I just kind of went all the way around with it anyway. So it's not leaking at all now. It's awesome. So there is that repaired coil. a lot. Doesn't seem too too bad, but dang it it just shut off when I was looking at it. 